Hey, this is Tyler with Survivalpedia. Came here with Chris. We're doing a little bit of winter survival scenarios. I want to talk really quick about water. We've talked about fire and shelter, and this is the base level shelter. Shelter also, and I'm going to kind of reiterate this, the clothes that you're wearing are shelter. Getting your butt off the ground is shelter. Stopping yourself from the wind is shelter, which you can do by piling up firewood. But what's next? Water. Water. Yeah. So, right, if we're going to move to water, I like to bring a clean canteen. All it is is a single wall canteen that I can boil in. It's a half a gallon, which means I only got to boil this twice a day. Yeah. A lot of people will get these little cups, right? But <clears throat> mathematically, what you're about to break down, yes, it's, it's very like labor intensive, right? 16 boils. Okay. <laughs> minimum, right? Because one cup is what, like an eighth yeah. of a gallon, mm -hmm. right? And I don't always get a full cup of water because I'm boiling a half to two thirds. Or I can just get something that's big and do it twice a day. Well, and you were saying that snow, like this handful of snow, mm -hmm. is 90% air, correct? Yes. So I need nine gallons of that volume of water to make one gallon of, of water. Okay. Which yeah. gets stupid really quick. Yeah. So I need to fill this nine times up. Well, that's a half a gallon. So for a gallon, you're doing 18, right? Yes, correct. So I have okay. to do 18. Or if you can take it out of the creek or you can get actual ice, that's going to be more dense and it's going to function. It's going to, it's going to be, give you water faster. Okay. Right? You do need to take down two of these a day. If you're not drinking at least that much, you're getting behind the curve. You're getting dehydrated. Yeah. Okay. Um, some other misnomers when it comes to water. Um, right no, there. That's the main one. There people think... People think you can't eat snow, right? Can't eat if you miss the biggest hole in your mouth. <laughs> Woo, cold. A little cold, huh? I'll come back to that. There is a misnomer that you cannot eat snow because it'll cause dehydro it'll cause hypothermia. Uh -huh. Hypothermia is caused by hypothermia. This isn't going to drop your core temperature low enough for it to matter, especially if you're moving or you're working. While you're out doing stuff, eat snow. My proof of this is we have multiple generations of Eskimo, Clinket, uh, Inuit, Native Americans that lived north of the Arctic Circle where there are no rivers, just eating, eating snow. snow. Yeah. yeah. So you, there's nothing wrong with eating snow. If you're going into hypothermia, stop, stop eating, eating snow. snow. <laughs> right? Get a fire, get some other stuff going. There's nothing wrong with getting a plastic bag that you put snow in that your body melts. If it gets too cold, take that off your body, boil it, find another way to deal with it. But my go-to, my fallback in winter when it comes to water, is melting and boiling in a can. And I'll, I know a lot of you are gonna immediately say, well, what about those filters, right? Yeah. What happens when you fill a filter with water and you leave it out in, in a freezing environment? Well, there's gonna be water in there no matter how much you empty it. And yep. then at night, it's gonna freeze over and crack it. And it's gonna break it and it doesn't work. So get yourself a canteen, eat snow, unless you're too cold. Drink all the water you can sustain make stews and what i mean by that is take uh take the the tips from pine trees take wild edibles put them in that water boil it eat it get your nutrients your vitamin c drink two of these a day and you're good to go right on all right hopefully that's valuable for you and thank you for watching